Watch tonight as our next guest, Will Stanley, leads the second-ranked BYU Cougars as they host the seventh-ranked UCLA Bruins at the Smith Fieldhouse. Coverage begins 9 Eastern on BYU TV and the BYU TV app. Joining us now in Studio B is the aforementioned Will Stanley, straight out of Punahou High School, Hawaii, represent, man, yes, and, and you're at BYU. Why are we so lucky to pull another great volleyball star from the islands to BYU? You know, Punahou High School has just kind of been this this breeding ground for volleyball players, and I think a bunch of people who followed. I mean, you have the Crab Brothers who are playing beach volleyball. I mean, there's just this kind of lineage of players that go to Punahou and come out. And I mean, Kanai, who's also at BYU, is a Punahou kid. Ryan Wilcox, who's at Santa Barbara, that we just played against. You know, they're all Punahou kids, and I feel like just this there's just connection. You know, you say you go to Punahou and you play volleyball, and there's always somebody that knows, oh, Punahou. Like, and there are people not even from Hawaii. So I think just kind of this national powerhouse that Punahou's kind of become as the volleyball school to go to in Hawaii has made, I mean, a huge impact on people coming to college and playing D1 volleyball. Because I feel like every year they have two or three guys that come out and play either in a D1 school in the West Coast or they go to a conference Carolina and play out there. So, I mean, I think they do a great job out there. I mean, they have great resources and Rick Toon, who's the head coach out there, really knows a lot of the college coaches and kind of gets you into the loop with people. And they have coaches coming to practice. So, I mean, it's kind of easy for us to get that exposure. We're in such a small island, it's kind of hard to get. So, Punahou helps a lot with that and just giving us everything that we need to get kind of go where we want to be in college. So, why Sean Olmstead and BYU for you, given that uh, lineage and, and options for you? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, a lot of it was Sean. A lot of it was kind of BYU's volleyball you know, prominence, but also the fact that when I was here, Jalen was recruiting me and Jalen being, I mean, a Kamehameha kid, which is our, our rival high school, but just being a Hawaii kid who's been here and played volleyball in Provo, you know, and had that experience. And for him to come and recruit me and, you know, tell me, hey, everything's, you know, nothing's going to change when you come to Provo. There's a big family aspect here. And I mean, there's a bunch of kids from Hawaii that come here and play football and, you know, do that. And I mean, I knew a few people coming here in my freshman year. So, I mean, that kind of Hawaii tie, I think, is what really brought me here. It was just the fact that I, I knew I could come here. Alohi was on the women's team at the time in Kiani. So, you know, there are a lot of people that I knew already and just it kind of felt comfortable for me to come here and just, you know, and it's hard to deny BYU when you're one of the top teams in the country <laughs> and they're saying, hey, we want you to come to BYU. Like, it's one of those things where it's, it's hard to say, no, I'm, I'm all right. So I think, you know, and then coming on my visit and doing all that and with Sean and Luca and Jay just being so, you know, so welcoming to me, it was it was a pretty easy decision, I think. All right. So, well, let's not bury the lead here. I made a joke as a tease uh, a few minutes ago, like, hey, who would win an actual fight between a Cougar and a Bruin? And it was all a joke. And then when you came in the studio, we were having a conversation. That's not a crazy question. You guys as a team have been having a similar conversation <laughs> apparently for a while. Will you enlighten everybody? Yeah, it was, <laughs> it's funny. We were. It was something that I had someone brought up to me a while ago over the summer, and I had been thinking about it. And one day I just kind of brought it up. We were like, I think we were up for weights, and I was like, "Hey guys, who, who do you think will win in a in a fight, a gorilla or a bear?" And I feel like <laughs> there's a lot of people on the bear side, but for me, I'm I'm on the gorilla side, and I think that's I'm very few people that say gorilla, but I mean. It, it, we've been having this discussion for a little bit. So. You said like five months you guys yeah. have been having this discussion. It's been a, it's been a long discussion. I, you know, it goes on and off. It wavers. But, I mean, I, I can't let go of the fact that I think a gorilla is going to win. I think most of the people on my team think it's a bear, and I'm never going to let that go, and I'm going to keep bringing it up until I convince everybody that. I think we gorilla. need an impromptu BYU Sports Nation poll This on needs Twitter. to be an Insta poll. Yes, without <laughs> question. That's fantastic. Will Stanley, setter for BYU men's <laughs> volleyball with us on BYU Sports Nation. When you look at the rank, Rankings, number one in the media poll this week, number two in the coaches poll. You just beat a really good Santa Barbara team twice, five set thriller. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about all of these midseason rankings? How do you handle that as a player? You know, I mean, Sean brings it up a lot about just kind of saying, you know, like it's just these different rankings. They don't really mean too much. I mean, they do, but in reality, we want to be playing in May and that's when the national tournament is and that's that's the biggest goal so I mean coming into the season we we knew we were going to be you know a one two three kind of team but we didn't know where and Sean you know Sean always says he has a slogan and it's just nobody cares work harder and I think that's kind of what we've lived by all year it's just <laughs> it doesn't matter if we're one we're two or we're three we're still trying to work harder and get better to where we're going to be the best team in the country in May and I think the polls I mean we don't focus too much on it. We try not to. I mean, it's it's kind of an interesting debate seeing other people talk about who's better, us or Hawaii. But I think, I mean, Hawaii hasn't lost. They're a great team, and I think there's no reason for them not to be number one. But, I mean, at this point, it's just 
you know, how are we going to get better? How can we be the best team we can be and be ready to go when we're trying to get a national championship in May? Nobody cares. Yeah. Work harder. I harder. like that. Yeah. How do things change? Is, is there mentally do things change for you guys now that conference play begins? Or is it, is it nothing really changes because you, you want to play at that same level regardless? You know, we do. We want to play the same level. And I mean, conference play is always different because teams are coming in and they've had their preseason games. And, you know, the NPSF is a pretty good conference all around. And like guys want to beat each other. And it's especially in conference for some reason, I feel like every team plays better once they get in the conference because they know that now these games matter because now you get into conference play, you get in the NPSF tournament and you get that automatic bid in April. So, I mean, we know teams are going to come in and we have a target on our back being the number two team in the country and kind of the team to be right now that every team's going to come in and give us their best shot. So we need to try and be our best and focus on ourselves so that when we're getting into these games against the UCLA or Pepperdine, we're not too focused on the future. And it's just, we have this huge target on our back, I think right now, and every team's going to come in give us their best shot, mix things around, do what they can to get us off balance. And, I mean, we just have to focus on our side of the court. Setter Will Stanley on BYU Sports Nation. BYU taking on UCLA tonight, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific on BYU TV with Jerem Jordan and Steve Vale on the call. You talk about having that target on your back. Your family is a family that understands playing high-level volleyball with pressure. Your dad played the 1968 Olympics. Your brother Clay played in three separate Olympics, I believe. What have they taught you and – on how to handle that pressure of being the team with the target on the back. You know, it's, I mean, it's funny. Like they, I've known my, my brother and my dad have played in these big games before, but in, in reality, they don't, they're more supportive just as a, you know, hey, like it's next game. Like they don't really give you, you know, my tips and trips. And when I was in, when I went to the Olympics and watched my brother play, I was fortunate enough to go to all three of them and watch him play. And I mean, just kind of being there. And I think his biggest thing was just playing his game, you know, not letting, not letting other teams dictate what you want to do. And just, you know, don't, it's, Every game is a game, you know, it's, it's, you're doing, getting better every game and trying to do what you can. There's no real, you know, we're not going to change something because we're the team to beat now. We're going to just do our stuff, play our game and, you know, we'll, the wind come out sometimes and sometimes they don't, but it's just making sure we can do what we need to do. BYU versus UCLA, they're always fun. What is, what is a Cougar Bruin match like to be involved in? You know, I missed this one last year because I was hurt when they came to Provo and that was, I told everybody else I'd give my other leg just to play in that game, oh, you know? Man. I mean, BYU-UCLA has probably been a rivalry since we started our men's program here, and I think it's been a game where, especially when they come to Provo, and we know that we're going to get a big crowd, we're going to get their best effort because they want to come here. And they have, I know, I forgot, it was like they haven't beaten us since 2005 in the field house. So I think in, in sports, I mean, that's probably one of my favorite rivalries to be a part of just because I get to be in there, and, you know, the fans are cheering extra loud. UCLA is playing extra good just because they want to beat us and we want to beat them. And I feel like it's something you don't get with a lot of teams. So I think just being able to have a rivalry like that and play them every year in the field house is something that's pretty special. Yeah, in the words of the great Carl McGowan, and I paraphrase, it, it's always okay to hate UCLA no matter what. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Luca, I think Luca, before he left, made sure to know that he always hated UCLA from the day he got here <laughs> to the day he left coaching. And he, he instilled that on all of us. It's just, you know, it's not, I mean, it's funny because like a lot of the guys, like Austin, he's from Hawaii. I played with him for most of, you know, in high school, I played with him club. I played against him in high school. And you don't want to hate these guys. Like, I love these guys, but, like, just the fact that they go to UCLA, it's mm -hmm. kind of this thing, and, you know, you're like, ah, I can't I can't socialize with these guys while we're in season, you know? No, oh, I get it. All right, Will, uh, we appreciate you coming. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma tonight Perfect. for the UCLA match. Thank you. Um, you can share it with Jerem and Steve over at the broadcast table if you'd like as well. Will do. Has Will signed our new flag? Um, I don't think Have I you signed our I new one? No, Here I haven't. Here we go. Yes. Here we, we go. Would, we would right, love for you to you sign go. the flag. Sign it anywhere you would like. Perfect. All right, Will Stanley. Outstanding senior setter for BYU men's volleyball. The Cougars still unbeaten, looking to stay that way against UCLA tonight on BYU TV.